Hi everyone, welcome to A Handful of Daisies. I'm Elaine. I love to create new decor, whether it's using thrifted items or just taking a scrap piece of wood, making something new. Have you ever walked into a home decor store and thought, you know, I love that item, but it's way too expensive. So many of those items you can recreate on your own. So I'd love for you to follow me on my channel as we create new decor items at a fraction of the cost. If that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So if you're ready, let's get started in today's video. Today's video is the first in a series of thrift store flips. We'll be taking these plain glass vases and adding texture and color to create beautiful decor pieces. This is such a popular DIY right now. I know most of you have these vases in your cabinet somewhere. Get them out, clean them up, and let's transform them into something new. I'm going to be showing you three different types of textures. The first DIY is going to be using joint compound. We had this left over from a recent bathroom renovation. I love using materials I already have on hand and it saves a lot of money. This texture does take the longest to create and it is pretty messy. Cleaned up all of my vases um, really well with um, soap and water. And we're just going to start the process. So I'm just grabbing a handful to get started and there's not really any right or wrong way to do this. You're just going to take some and smooth it on the glass. Now I've seen um, some people have um, pre-sprayed their glass um, with a primer. Um, I've found that you don't have to do that um, because it does stick really well to the surface, the glass surface. So you're just going to smooth it on. Um, depending on how thick and how much texture you want it. And you can always go back when it's once it's dry and you're going to um, sand the edges down a little bit. So it's okay if you have some points uh, showing in there. Don't forget to do the inside um, at the top. I usually do about two inches down. Um, that way, when you have your florals in, you're still going to see that texture just on the inside. Now, this does take um, overnight to dry. So I'm just trying to get those edges really well. I did get all of these vases at the thrift store for 99 cents. So this did end up being a really inexpensive DIY, especially since I already had the joint compound. So use what you have um, at your house rather than going out buying new things. If you don't have joint compound, you can use other things like um, spackle and you can get a small can of spackle at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Just put that one to the side and I'm going to start on the next one. I had I actually did this on um, three of the bases um, for this first DIY. I'm going to do a little bit different um, colors on each one. So you're just going to do the same thing here. You're just going to smooth it out. I just wanted to give you a view on a couple of the vases so you could see just how the different angles on the, the vase, you're just smoothing it over. And make sure you don't put any on the bottom uh, because you want your vase to set flat. So I'm just smoothing it out. I'm putting it on fairly, fairly thick. Uh, because I want a lot of texture.
So here's a look at all three vases once they've dried overnight. I'm just going to take this sanding block uh, that I got from Dollar Tree and go over the high points. Um, I don't want to smooth it out completely because I want to keep all of the ridges and um, the texture that's in there. All three vases we're going to start painting. Um, I am using Waverly chalk paint. On the first vase it's going to be in ink which is the black, plaster, and mineral. I'm using three different shades starting with the dark and going to the light and then we'll add a little dark again. I'm just adding the dark, the black, all over the vase. I'm leaving um, some of the white showing through because I want it to um, look a little marbled. Make sure you don't forget to do the inside of the top as well. So next we're moving to um, mineral and we're just going to use a uh, dabber sponge, um, at least that's what I call it, to go over the whole vase again, letting um, the black and some of the white show through. So you can just do this as much or as little as you want. It really depends on what you want it to look like. Again, making sure you go inside the top. Then we're going to add uh, the plaster. We're going to put that all over again. And I'm just using the edge of the sponge this time um, just to give it a little bit different look. And I'm just going all over. Again on the inside. And once that's done, I'm going to go back and add a little of the black on top. So just do what looks good to you. Um, as you're going through it, it might look like a hot mess, but at the end, it uh, ends up looking pretty good. So the next base we're going to use three different colors again. This time we're going to use plaster, moss, and mineral. And I think this one's my favorite. I love the green, the moss color. It's so beautiful. So we're just going to again use our chip brush and go all over the face. And then we're going to move on to mineral and just dab that all over the face again. So just do it however you feel comfortable doing it, however heavy you want the colors or, or muted. It just depends on your taste. So the last color is going to be the plaster. So we're going to apply that all over using the edge of the sponge again. And once we finish that up, we're going to take our chip brush and go back over a little bit um, with the moss again, um, just to put a little of the dark on top as well.
So this base is for sure my favorite. I love that moss green. So on this last base, we're just going to use two colors. We're going to start with the antiquing wax, and then we're going to use a little plaster on top just to mute down the darkness of the antiquing wax. So I'm using my chip brush and I'm dabbing it on, but as I go, um, I decide that I'm going to just use it um, instead of dabbing. I'm going to go up and down on the face um, just to kind of highlight those ridges um, and the texture. And again, you can put this on as light or as heavy as you want it. I wanted to make sure some of that white was showing through. But we are um, going to go back and add some of that plaster um, on top of it so um, to mute it down a little bit. So this one was pretty simple. Here's a look at how they all turned out. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. So let's move on to texture number two. We're going to be using baking soda. So I have my baking soda and I'm going to be using um, sample paints from Lowe's, um, Valspar and Twilight Blue and Gravity. So we're just going to start off by mixing the paint. Now, I didn't really measure what I was mixing, but I would say about a half a cup of paint to about two tablespoons of baking soda. Uh, but it really depends on how much texture you want. So just mix that really well. And I'm going to put the paint on um, using a paintbrush. And I'm putting the first coat on um, pretty thin. Um, I want that to, to be my base coat that dries really quickly. And then I'll put my second coat on um, a little heavier. Okay, you guys, I'm just continuing to paint and not realizing that my battery died on my camera. So, of course, I didn't get the video of the full um, painting the full vase. So here's what the vase looks like after the second coat. So I'm using the gravity paint just to give it a little texture on top and I wasn't able to give you that video either uh, since I had problems with my camera. Um, so I did come back and I just was showing you how I added that coat of gravity um, onto the, the top of that. It did turn out pretty well. I really like this one. Let me know in the comments below if you like this one too. And here's what the final looks like. And I'll show you what this one looks like staged after we finish um, the third and final face um, DIY. So for this last textured face, we're going to be using Rust-Oleum Multicolored Textured Paint. Um, it is a really dark gray with um, silver speckles in it. Since this one is spray paint, I did take it outside and I'm thinking maybe I should have sanded it a little bit because the paint didn't seem to want to adhere to the vase. So thankfully this paint is pretty forgiving. So I went ahead and just finished covering the vase. By the second coat that I applied on this one, it did turn out really well in the end. And this was the quickest and easiest one, but probably the least amount of texture. However, um, it did have like a sandy finish. 
So here's a look at how the last two faces turned out. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Now don't forget, get that base out of your cabinet, wash it up, and, and try your hand at texturing.